Hey, I wanted to demo off some of the updates I've made to Heart Twitch over the last couple of weeks. Um, these are going to be released next week. So um, without further ado, let me take it away. This is for Heart Twitch 1.1. So um, the app interface has been updated slightly. So here's an example. We've added uh, active energy as a way to track calories. Uh, we're gonna add in the future a update so you can add on the web interface uh, a view for calories. Uh, so you can share that on your live stream as well as the heart rate. Um, but for right now, I've added that uh, permission request so that way we can be ready for that implementation when it uh, happens on the web. So uh, we'll go ahead and give that access. Um, we've added a uh, interface at the top to tell you when uh, it's a ID is valid or not. Uh, let's go ahead and log into the website and um, get started. So I'm going to log in here to, with my uh, email address. So uh, we see here we've updated, uh, we've added a new feature for configuring your display before starting your workout. So if you click configure display, we now have a selection of 10 fonts uh, that you can preview on here. This is a preview of how uh, the view would look. So uh, we have our default oxygen, which we've been using. Uh, Passion one, of course, was already there. Uh, but we also now have oxygen mono, um, and if you want to do something more digital, like Obatron here, uh, you can also use um, more script-like fonts like Lobster if you want to do that. Uh, or you can go with a more whimsical, scary look like uh, Henny Penny here. We can also change the uh, background color as well. So uh, let's say we want uh, something that matches Heart Twitch's red. We have that right here, um, as well as a white color. Um, but let's say we want to do uh, something more like a, like that, or maybe orange. No, that doesn't look good. Let's do, actually, let's do this. There we go. More of a, like a Halloween type look here. So um, we have a font selected. We can pick a background color and a text color. Save that. Uh, and then again, start our workout. We have our code as usual, a little uh, indication to show you. Uh, how to enter the ID in. You can change your workout as well. Uh, let's say you want to do... Um, I have an elliptical that I use while I play video games, so let me see if I can find that on here. There we go. Uh, we enter in our ID. So there we go, we now have the ID entered. So we can go ahead and start workout. And now we should be sending the data. Awesome. So now you can see our color uh, has been updated here. We can, if we want to, go ahead and update the color again and change the font before we move into full screen mode. Uh, let's do hot. Actually, um, I'm gonna show something else. So let's do green. And then we'll do, uh, yeah, we'll keep it like this. So I'm going to show you something real quick. Um, you probably can already see this, but uh, let me just fix something real quick. Because you're not seeing the green, are you? Sorry. So uh, I kind of already spoiled it but uh, we have green now that can be added as a background that way it allows us to um, do a chroma keys so uh, let me just show that again so black right green so now we have a green background um, and then I will show you in OBS how you can change that um, there we go so little tunnel here but so uh, we can go and change the window capture here. Oops, filter. Um, and then on here, I just change the, um, set the chroma key, add that, 
let's just add that again. Oops. Add chroma key. Uh, we'll use the green. There we go. So uh, now if we go back, we can see that in our preview here, uh, it's actually um, transparent. You can't really see that right now. Uh, let me change this to full screen. There we go. Uh, and then I'm gonna actually duplicate this. I've got smaller. And then we're gonna add in, uh, let's make me bigger here on this video. So you can see that it's see-through. And now uh, my watch shows here 60. And here uh, we see 60 as well um, in our uh, you go overlay. to the upper right corner. You can see you can tap that and it'll switch out of full screen mode. In, out, in, out. Uh, this is for um, reconfiguring again. You can save that. It does not get saved to the server right now. We're working on that. Uh, but it does get saved in the browser. So if you're using the same browser, it'll reload those settings next time. And then to quit, just close that and it ends your workout. That's some of the stuff I wanted to show today uh, when it comes to the new heart twitch update that's coming out pretty soon. If you have any questions, let me know. You can reach me, Leo, at hearttwitch.app. Um, we have been sending out test flight updates. If you have not been getting those, if you want to be on the beta, let me know. Uh, but the website should be updated uh, come Monday and the app uh, we're looking at in the very near future. Uh, if you have any questions, reach out to me. Again, leo at hardtwitch.app. I appreciate your feedback. If there's any fonts you see missing, colors you'd like, please let me know. Um, and uh, we're looking at further updates in the future. I'm looking at doing a server update pretty soon, which will add things like saving the style to the server, uh, linking your watch so you don't have to add your code every single time. Uh, and maybe I might look at uh, some technologies there to do that. Uh, reach out to me. Thanks again. And I look forward to hearing your feedback and letting me know what you think. Bye.